A young woman named Anna lived with her parents in a small town nestled at the foot of high mountains. Since she was a child, those mountains had almost been like a second home to her. Her father worked as a rescuer in the region's emergency services, while her mother was a doctor at the only local hospital. From a young age, her parents taught her to respect nature and lend a hand to anyone in need. Anna always loved hiking in the mountains, and as a young girl, she enrolled in a climbing course where her talent caught the instructor's attention within the first month. A year later, she was already participating in local competitions. By the time she finished school, she proudly displayed a shelf filled with medals and certificates. At 22, Anna was a skilled and experienced mountaineer, familiar with every path and trail of the surrounding mountains. She knew by heart the most dangerous places and the safest routes, and the townspeople often sought her advice before venturing onto more challenging paths. Inspired by her father's profession, Anna decided to become a rescuer. To do so, she spent months preparing for the rescue school entrance exam, training daily according to a strict schedule and studying materials on medicine and rescue. On the eve of her departure for training, the day was exceptionally warm, with a clear sky and radiant sun. A light breeze carried the scent of mountain herbs. Determined to go on one last hike before leaving, Anna organized all her equipment the night before, checking each carabiner and every knot in her ropes. She packed her backpack with water, food, a first aid kit, and a signaling flashlight. Her cell phone was also fully charged. At dawn, Anna left her house just as the first rays of sunlight touched the mountain peaks. She took a deep breath of the fresh air, listening to the cheerful song of the birds, which seemed to promise a day of good weather. She chose her favorite route, climbing up the eastern slope. The trail began next to an old pine tree, its trunk noticeably curved. The first hour of her hike took her through a dense forest until the trail ascended to exposed rocks. Anna walked at a steady pace, unhurried, savoring every moment of this challenging and fascinating journey. Occasionally, she paused to take a few photos, wanting to keep every detail of this special farewell in her memory. The mountain flowers, covered in morning dew, looked especially beautiful. During a break to rest, Anna took out a thermos and poured herself some hot tea. The steam rose in the cool air as everything around her remained in absolute silence. Only a light breeze rustled the treetops. After about two hours of climbing, the vegetation began to thin, and Anna reached the alpine meadow area. The grass there was short and coarse, with colorful flowers protruding between the rocks. The air was noticeably cooler. Anna reached a small plateau from where she could take in an incredible view of the valley. She took out her camera to capture some images to show her parents. At that moment, she heard an unusual sound, similar to a baby's cry, coming from somewhere below. She stopped to listen carefully, and seconds later, the sound repeated, conveying pain and fear. It was a sound she had never heard in the mountains. Cautiously, Anna approached the edge of the plateau and looked down. About 15 meters below, on a narrow ledge, was a brown bear cub with one of its hind legs trapped between rocks. The little bear was shivering with fear and cold, and each attempt to free its legs seemed to worsen its pain, causing cries of anguish. The situation was critical. Suddenly, a growl sounded above her. Looking up, Anna saw, on a higher ledge, an adult bear pacing back and forth, clearly distressed. She was the cub's mother, desperately trying to find a way to reach him. In her attempt to descend the steep slope, the stones gave way under her weight, causing small landslides that frightened the cub even more. Anna quickly assessed the situation. The slope was too steep for the mother to reach the cub, and the little one wouldn't be able to free himself. At some point, he would run out of strength or might fall. Determined to act, Anna sent a message to her parents, sharing her exact location and explaining that she planned to help the trapped animal, promising to return in an hour. Then, she began preparing for the descent. She took the climbing rope from her backpack and checked each safety element. The descent would be extremely difficult. The rock was nearly vertical, with few footholds, and some stones were wet with dew, making everything riskier. Anna began descending cautiously, 
double-checking each hold, knowing any mistake could be fatal. The adult bear noticed her movement and growled fiercely, pushing stones and branches down from above. Leaning against the cliff, Anna shielded herself from the falling debris. The descent took half an hour, but each second felt eternal. Finally, Anna reached the cub's level and had to move laterally along the narrow ledge. When the cub noticed her approaching, he tried to back away, but his trapped leg prevented him, increasing his cries. Anna spoke in a low, gentle voice to calm him, moving slowly so as not to scare him. Gradually, he calmed down. Anna took a rope from her backpack and carefully tied it around him. Surprisingly, the cub didn't resist and curled up beside her, seeking protection. That moment of trust was special. Gently, Anna began moving one of the stones to avoid scaring him. After fifteen minutes of effort, she managed to free him, and the cub's leg was finally released. He tried to stand up, but his numbed leg didn't support him well. Relieved to see he only had minor scratches, Anna prepared to help him descend safely. Climbing up with the cub was impossible. The safest option was to lower him with a rope. Anna prepared everything and made sure the cub was secure. Guiding him to the edge of the rock, she began the descent, which was tense. Upon reaching the ground, the cub looked confused but soon was joyful. Anna followed, facing a challenging descent. When she reached the ground, the cub ran toward her, playfully nudging her with his nose. The scene made her smile. The cub's behavior was reminiscent of an energetic puppy. Suddenly, Anna heard a noise in the bushes and froze. The mother bear had found a way down and was just a few meters away. Unable to escape, Anna hoped everything would go well. The cub played nearby, unaware of the tension. To her relief, the bear showed no aggression. She approached, sniffed the cub, and, seeing he was safe, allowed him to stay with Anna. Then, the bear did something unexpected. She brought Anna's backpack, which had fallen during the descent, and left it beside her before walking away. Sitting down, Anna took a bottle of water and drank. The bear and cub stayed close, almost as if they were protecting her. Some time passed, and in the distance, she heard her parents' voices as they hurried to see her. Noticing the movement, the bear stood up and, in an unexpected gesture, lightly touched Anna's leg as if saying goodbye. The cub also said goodbye, resting his warm nose on her shoulder one last time. Hearing the bear's gentle call, he moved away and disappeared into the forest. Shortly after, Anna's parents arrived, relieved. Anna told them what had happened, showing them where the cub had been trapped. The next morning, Anna left for training, carrying not only her backpack but also the memories of her encounter with the bears and their gesture of gratitude. That special day filled her with strength and motivation, and she knew she had made the right choice for her life. What did you think of this story? Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.